What is up camping dorks and nerds? If you're a fan of a travel trailer with a big old living space, I got the perfect camper for you. It's a Flagstaff so we know it's well built. Flagstaffs? Definitely some of the best built campers on the market right now. This is the all new 2025 Flagstaff Superlight 29 RLS. And for just $404 a month, with our nationwide financing, this 35 foot five inch camper could be in your driveway. This guy weighs 8,284 pounds dry, so it's definitely one of the heavier travel trailer options. Uh, but with all that weight comes a whole lot of good stuff in there. Normally this does function as a couple's coach, but with a little conversions of a couple sofas, it does turn into a six person camper. Three slides on this guy. All along the outside here, we got these frameless tinted windows. Toward the back here, we got our 50 amp power supply. We got our spare tire encased in this hard shell. Down below, there's a two inch receiver hitch. And then up our ladder here, we got a big old roof, plenty of space to chill. 200 watts of solar. There's your 15,000 BTU AC, as well as your max air fan for your bathroom. You should come up here every few months or so to do some maintenance on your sealant, maintenance on your caulk job, check on your solar panel and whatnot. Continuing back around this end, you got our gray and black tank flush. Does each hold 45 gallons, your fresh tank holds 54 gallons. Right above that, cable satellite hookup, city water connect. And then your tank flush and antifreeze inlet. Through here, we got some storage. This goes right under your bed. In this box, you got a flat top griddle that'll be mounted on a rail that'll show you on the other side. In this bag, we got a whole bunch of goodies. In this bag, you got your 50 amp power cord. I think there's some other bonus goodies in there. You can also see in here our aluminum framing. This isn't just on the bed, this aluminum framing goes throughout the whole camper. Very well built, very sturdy. Down below here, stabilizer jack, we got one in each corner. Battery connection up front, as well as our LP tanks. That's two 30 pound tanks, making a total of 60 pounds. In front of that, auto leveling system on our power tongue jack. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's got auto and manual modes. Back around this end, did I already say this is a 21 foot awning? I don't know, but it's a 21 foot awning, a uh, couple outdoor speakers. Down below, this little notch is a TV mount. And then below that, we have our power outlet um, and satellite hookup. And uh, Furion TV hookup. Right to the left of that, this is the rail I was talking about earlier. Here you're gonna mount your included outdoor table and griddle. There's an LP hookup right below that so you can hook up gas to that thing. Let's pop inside this honker. Take a good look at this big old living area. Gets 10 out of 10 wowies always. Real nice though. Really, really spacious with these two slides back here. Each of them has a love seat and then you got theater seating back here. Like I said before, both of these will convert into sleepers. So it seats six back here, but this thing also sleeps six. Two here, two here, and then two in the bed up front. Both sides have reading lights, USB ports on either of those, so everyone can charge up at night. Both sides um, swivel around, very fun. Like I said, both of these convert into sleepers. Just a couple of fold-out couches, same as every other RV. Tri-fold sleepers. A little less convenient than the jackknife sofa, but it's a lot more spacious and definitely comfier. Very front of our living room, 50-inch smart TV. Electric fireplace right below it, keep you nice and cozy. It also kicks out a lot of heat, so keep you nice and warm at night or in the winter. One AC in here, but it's got ventilation all around up top. Alongside our AC, we have a 35,000 BTU furnace down here. Heat coming from back there, heat coming from up here. This would be a really good option for some colder areas. We do have heated tanks as well. I already mentioned these recliners here, but I wanna give them a little more attention. We got one, two, three, four cup holders. A little remote storage in the middle there. Right behind the recliners is a little bar. And then right behind these recliners, we got a bar. A little dining area for two. Comes with a couple of nice stools. So if we're eating our meal, but we don't want to miss the game, we can do both. Great for a dinner and a movie date night type thing. Watch your YouTubes while you're eating your dinner. Throw some uh, Lakeshore RV up on the screen. I love this show. It's my favorite one. Uh, out here you see this awning's getting caught by the wind, getting yanked around like a sail, so I'm gonna retract that thing ASAP. Keep those suckers in when it's windy, folks. Let's take a look at the kitchen area. Refrigerator is dual swing. That's right, it goes both ways. This way, so we can grab a beer from our uh, kitchen, or this way, so we can grab a beer from our living room. The perfect fridge for game day. 
And of course, the drawer freezer, so neither side has preferential treatment. To the right of the fridge, three burner gas stove, good sized oven. And then just some open counter space. Nothing wrong with some open counter space. Over in the corner here, undermount sink, uh, detachable faucet. I think the undermount sink is an underrated feature. I'm one who likes a clean kitchen. For my homies who also like a clean kitchen, this is so much better for wiping your counters. You can just wipe it right into the sink here. Love those in the bathroom too. When people shave their hair, leave their facial hair all over the counters. Just wipe it right in the sink, it's a lot easier. This thing uh, is like a roly poly dish drying rack, it's pretty fun. Above the sink, microwave, stainless steel 1.3 cubic foot, fits a full 11 inch dinner plate, wow. And then you know we got some cupboard space, some drawers here, here, extendable countertop space here. Right above that we got the thermostat, sitting at a cool 69. Best temperature in the game, 69 degrees. Um, down here across from our door, this is our fuse box. Um, it has fuses in a box. Above that, control panel, lights, awning, slides, uh, tank levels, battery level, all the good stuff, all the essentials. And then right next to that, we got the bathroom. Lovely bathroom, to the lovely bathroom. Porcelain foot flush, real sturdy quality toilet there. Bathroom sink, undermount, love our undermount. You know I love the undermount. Vanity got a little storage action. Storage below as well. Um, not very much though, fooled me. Oh, looks like we actually have accent light too. Um, you know, you learn something new every day. We learn as we go. Big old linen closet in our bathroom here. And then a corner shower. Skylight in here as well as a shower miser. That'll redirect unused hot water, save some for you. Pretty handy little nifty feature. Psh who doesn't like saving hot water? Psh this is an ensuite bathroom, so we have the option to pass through it, but we don't have to. You have access to the bathroom both directly from the bedroom or from the living area. So we'll head into the bedroom through the main door, pop our lights on. Really spacious bedroom here. Like a ton of walking room. Way more than most campers. Because we got this big old bed slide. Reading lights above our bed. We got little nightstands in either corner too. Really nice bed, comfy mattress, pull shades. Gotta love it. Reading lights got the USB ports. We got the storage with the soft clothes. Winds all around. Second AC on the ceiling, keep you crispy cool in here. Another huge win. Again, we're connected to the bathroom. Just like on most of our flagstaffs, our bed here has this nice handle to lift up on. Hydraulics makes it a lot easier to access our storage here. Two huge drawers. Big old sturdy honkers here. It's really well built and you can see it, you can see it. No getting around that these are well built. At the very front, we got our windshield, we got this little shelf area. Actually big shelf area, this thing is really wide. The width of the entire camper practically. Um, some extra shelf space in the corner. I guess you could use this as like a small desk, standing desk area, maybe do your makeup here. You know, set up a ring light. Got USB ports there as well. USB, USB-C over here next to our outlet. Always love my big windshields. Opportunities for great views. Pull blind on this thing too. Magnet on that to get it to stay. Uh, you can't really see it, but that's a magnet there. That's why it's, uh, if you pull it away, it does like, dangle there so gotta stick it to the magnet that's pretty much everything across from our bed we do have this huge closet i'm a fan of the glass really nice really nice touch there with the glass super deep closet hang your clothes up top again two massive drawers down here these ones have soft clothes oh and i can smell it too that's real solid wood uh come here in person you can smell it yourself storage here storage here and if you want, mount a TV here. We got a backer for it. Cable satellite hookup. So yeah, uh, phone number is 231-788-2040. Website is lakeshore-rv.com. Located at 4500 East Apple Ave, Muskegon, Michigan. But we do ship pretty much anywhere. So no matter where you are, ask and we'll probably get it to you. Um, we can probably finance for you as well. Doesn't hurt to ask. So call now. Peace out, dorks.